If you feel like you have a quite decent amount of money on old school runescape and you want to level up magic quickly then I have a good method to feature in this video. It's very click intense so if you want something afk to slowly train yourself to 99 magic this is not the method for you unfortunately. Keep in mind that the minimum requirements for this method is 55 magic, however 75 magic is highly recommended and anything above that is going to increase the XP rates, and I will be using 75 magic-ish as the rates in this video. Alright, so first off you need to grab your magic setup, personally I'm not the highest leveled guy out there and not the richest one either, so I will be using Arims with a glory and some mystic items along with my Guthix cloak. Also for the weapon I'm using a smoke battle staff, this weapon is essential for this method to work and I will explain why in just a bit. Why 55 magic is the minimum requirement is because it is at this level you gain the ability to use the spell high alchemy. This grants you 65 magic experience on use and consumes an item into money. This requires 1 nature rune and 5 fire runes per cast. What item you want to alk is entirely up to you but so far I'm happy with alking you longbolt for example. Why 75 magic is highly suggested is because that is the level where you gain access to the fire wave spell which grants you 42.5 experience per cast, plus an amount of experience depending on how much damage you dealt with the spell. This spell consumes 7 fire runes, 5 air runes and 1 blood rune per cast, however this is where the smoke battle staff is so amazing as it provides you with unlimited fire and air runes so you can cast both your high alchemy spell with only nature runes and your fire wave spell with only blood runes. Alright so now that we cover that we're going to go into how this method works. First off go to the Brimhaven dungeon on Karamja and head over to the iron and steel dragons. Also remember that even if you have an anti-dragon shield you need to bring anti-fire potions. They are very cheap though at like 1.2k each so buying 10 of them it really isn't that expensive. Also remember to bring your nature runes, your alk materials which in my case is the U longbows and at last your blood runes and also an axe to be able to get to the iron dragons. When you get here start attacking either the iron dragons or the steel dragons with your fire wave spell and this is where these two spells are going to be used together. In the background you can see me alk and cast the fire wave spell pretty much at the same time. You won't lose any fire wave spell casts by doing this and all it does is give you 65 experience from the alchemy every time additional with your fire wave cast. If you want to do this correctly and efficiently you need to get into a rhythm of casting one alchemy directly after the experience drop of your fire wave cast or just overall when you see that your character starts casting the fire wave. If you do this you should be able to cast one alchemy with every single fire wave spell that you cast. This will in the end give you an absolute minimum of 107.5 experience per cast and obviously more if you actually do damage to the dragon. I reset the OS body statistics and I did a quick sample here of 15 minutes which is actually quite a valid amount of time as you literally do the same thing all the time with no spikes and experience rates really so this should be quite accurate at least with 76 magic and my gear setup. At my levels and gear I managed to get around 125k magic experience an hour which is absolutely amazing and I do not doubt that if you had max magic setup along with 90 plus magic you would be able to get possibly 140k an hour but I don't have any evidence of that so I'm deeming this about 120k an hour which is definitely a good amount of experience. Anyways that is going to be all for this video I hope you found it helpful and if you did please leave a like and good luck with your magic training.